If your pool looks like this, even with perfect chlorine, there's a stabilizer mistake draining your wallet. Let's fix it before you waste another dollar. In the next three minutes, I'll show you the three most expensive stabilizer mistakes, how to spot them, and my favorite money saving fixes. Mistake three, almost every pool owner does it wrong. Ever add chlorine and watch it vanish in hours? That's mistake number one, and it's costing you big time. Most pool owners test chlorine and pH, but skip stabilizer. Without the right stabilizer, your chlorine burns off in sunlight, and you'll buy way more chlorine. You should use the Taylor kit, linked in the description. It's under $60, measures nine different chemicals for your pool, and saves hundreds over the season. Here's mistake number two, and it actually makes your chlorine stop working, even if you add more and more. Using chlorine tablets every week, you're probably building up stabilizer to dangerous levels. Over 80 ppm, and your chlorine is basically useless. That's called chlorine lock. The fix, switch to liquid chlorine when the stabilizer hits 50 ppm. Your wallet will thank you. Mistake number three, nearly everyone does this and it wastes money every single time. Dumping dry stabilizer straight into the pool. It clumps, sinks, and never dissolves right. Instead, use the sock method. Hang it in front of a return jet for even and fast dissolving. I suggest using the brand linked in the description. It dissolves faster and costs less than pool store brands. Already have Sky High Stabilizer? Here's what most pool stores won't tell you. This cyanuric acid reducer, linked below, can bring levels down, no draining needed, and it costs way less. But you can drain your pool if you want. Which of these mistakes have you made? Drop your story below. I read every single comment and might feature yours in the next video. If this helped you save money, smash like and subscribe for more pool hacks that actually work.